think I was in like, I probably was in second grade. I think he, he was in like first grade. I'm posting it. We got these bandanas on our head. We look crazy as hell. Okay, so listen, this is what I wanted to share with y'all, right? So, you know, I talk a lot about goal setting. Set goals, make sure you do stuff with intention, have purpose behind it, right? Um, and everything in your life has to align with that. This is how you have purpose behind who you pick in your life. Somebody said, what? Yeah, he finna be blackmailed. Because I feel like I should have been got a beat from him. Listen, you know, I talk about goal setting and then everything in your life should be aligned and centered around that. So, you know, when I talk to y'all on one on ones or when I speak to y'all in Zooms, um, I speak about set goals. All you got to do is just the things that you want to get accomplished, put dates on them. Make sure it's mapped out in steps. Make sure you know the halfway mark so you know when to pat yourself on the back or celebrate the fact that, you know, I'm almost there to make sure your perspective and your perception of what's going on is optimistic and po positive and you're being realistic about the progress and the dates that you have, right? So now, after you do that, everything that's going on around you in your life, especially the stuff that you are just allowing based on just this is who I like or this is what I want it needs to align with that like the people you talk to every day the family members you give your energy to the things that you watch the stuff that you you know filter through online it all needs to correlate back to the shit you're trying to get done for yourself y'all understand that so far set goals personal goals business goals and we're going to talk about the business side because I'm going to show y'all my business flower this Saturday um, in the Zoom so you set goals and then everything that's going on around you, who you date, who you friends with, the things that do in, that are, that interest you as far as socializing and um, communicating with others through the Internet out in public, all that stuff. You need to set your world up to basically be relative to the goals that you set for yourself. Everybody clear on that. Exactly. Your environment, the stuff you watch, the things that you read, all that stuff needs to relate back. So, for example, for some of y'all that say, OK, love, by 2022, I want to be in the process of purchasing a home. Put a date on that shit. Put all the steps in between with your credit, with saving up some money, with doing the first time home buyers class. Put dates on all that shit. Now, if you're serious and you want your life to align with the goals you say you want and you want to every day be motivated towards that, make the topics of your conversations with the people in your life about that. Make the things that you read about that. The time that you spend surfing on the Internet, follow people that's doing credit repair and people that are realtors and, you know, people that post stuff or websites that have to do with purchasing a home and what's going on with the real estate market. And follow certain um, certain people that they are on the same type of journey as you literally align your life with matching your goals. This is how you create purpose and intention on your actions, your words, your feelings towards what's going on in your world. Everybody got that so far? Like literally, it starts with just having goals for yourself. You want this, this even goes down to a trip. You want to travel out the country. I don't give a fuck where you want to go. Right out the steps. I need to get my passport. I need to make sure I save up some money. I need to research what area I want to stay in, hotels, Airbnbs, you know, whatever the fuck it is I'm going to stay in, you know, how much money I need to do these particular activities, you know, who I want to go with me, all of this stuff. And then everything that you sit around and do in your spare time outside of earning your money, make it relative back to accomplishing that. This is how you align your life and start having purpose on it. Now, I will say this. Some of y'all, you know, you got a mental block when it comes to trying to actually set goals for yourself because I talk to y'all on one-on-ones I talk to y'all in zooms y'all ask me well what kind of stuff should you set goals for love right so every adult should have plenty of goals in so many different categories of their life but when you cannot manage your emotions when you do not socialize with the right people when you do not open yourself up to you know be personally accountable for the state of your life and realistic with yourself about why the stuff that's happened to you is happening to you you will not be able to set goals and be motivated and proud about trying to accomplish them. 
You can get a one-on-one -on -one by texting 678-965-0698. You can get in my Zoom. Um, that's tomorrow by texting 678-965-0698. But I'm going to say this. When it comes to money goals, you get money to buy back your time and improve your quality of life. So if you need any type of motivation on getting my ass up and wanting to get some more money, really set some goals, write out what it would do if you had more of your life as free time to be able to enjoy it or do more with your kids, your family members, your relatives. Because remember, you get money to buy back time and improve your quality of life. Write out what parts of your life you want to improve to improve the quality of your living. These will help motivate you to actually start really putting the rubber to the road and trying to get some more money. When it comes to traveling, you need to travel to educate your educate yourself and widen your perspective on life. So for a lot of people, you ain't really been outside the hood and you probably travel, but you travel like to go lay up in a hotel room or be on the beach somewhere just socializing. You haven't traveled to actually educate yourself on what's going on with the cultures in these different areas, what's going on with government in this particular area, what's going on with the economy in this particular area. Like, when you travel, it should be to widen your perspective on what the fuck is happening in the world so that you can have a better understanding of that which you exist in. Next thing, socializing. The whole point of socializing is for you to be improving your communication skills and your social skills. Like a lot of y'all talk to people just to talk. You don't talk with intention and purpose. Like, you know, I'm going to see if I can go over here and interact with these people without falling back into these kind of ways or without getting involved with this or without taking shit personal off of a disagreement or a conversation. Like as you grow and you mature, socializing becomes something that you use to be able to like like widen your perspective um, based on where these people are from and what their culture is. But the main thing is sharpening your socialization skills, sharpening your ability to communicate with different people without letting it bother you internally. Y'all understand what I'm explaining? Y'all know I say adults should have eating goals. Eat to improve your health. Eat to fuel your body. A lot of y'all just eating for the sake of shit tasting good. The same way you travel just for the, the, the sake of posting a picture saying you was laid up over here getting fucked out of town. You got to put some actual valuable purpose behind doing these things. And then that's when you see your life have more of a purpose. Meditate and relax. I tell people all the time, you do this to relieve stress, manage emotion, and be in control of your thoughts. Like a lot of people, they can't manage their emotions because they, they mind supersedes them. Like they, they mind do its own thing outside of what they've told themselves in the past or plan to do because you don't relax or meditate enough or just woo and sit back and process what's going on around you enough to be able to even control your own thoughts. And that makes you a hazard to your own self. It makes you a liability to the people around you because you are not in control of where your brain go at with stuff. This is when y'all take certain things that occur or stuff people say and you in your mind process it to mean whatever your emotions is telling you it's supposed to mean and then you act in the physical something is wrong upstairs that's a mental illness the next thing is laugh and smile there has to be some intention behind your enjoyment this is supposed to be able to brighten your aura like basically you know lift your spirits and put you in a place where you are more optimistic than you are negative you genuinely believe with intention that you're going to accomplish some things as opposed to stuff just not going to go your way I hope y'all genuinely understand because I'm really giving y'all like so much game right now on how to change your perspective on life like, you got to get money to with the intent to buy back time. Like, bitch, I'm trying to earn more revenue or get more paper to improve my quality of life and be able to buy back my time. So by the end of my days, I am actually enjoying days as I wake up, not waking up feeling like, oh, it's ghetto to go to this job. Or, oh, I got to go take the kids over here. Or, oh, we got to go to this again. Like, be improving your quality of living and being able to buy back your time puts you in a space where you can smile and laugh more and improve your aura your spirit be more optimistic about your purpose in life 
travel to educate y'all selves. The why in your perspective. Some of y'all like the way that you think, the way that you process stuff, your thoughts, your emotions, it's based on the stuff that you've seen and the shit you've been through. And some of y'all, you've only seen a small amount of shit based on where you at in the world and where you've been to. And when you travel, you don't travel for reasons of educating and reasons of widening what I know about the world and the country I live in. You travel just to go say, hey, I'm over here, look at this picture. Hey, we fucked over here in the Airbnb on the other side of the United States. Hey, I'm high in the studio over here drinking. That's it. You ain't going to museums. You ain't trying to get no understanding for the culture in that particular area, the laws, the progressiveness with, you know, the things that's changing in the culture and the economy moving forward. None of this stuff is going on. These are the things that will put purpose behind the stuff you say you want to do and will make your ass actually move on it. So for those of y'all that's struggling with procrastination, those of y'all that's struggling with watching other people and like feeling like you in a competition or they in a competition with you, those of y'all that stay in your feelings all day long about stuff that don't got nothing to do with real life stuff, these are like the key steps to changing that. Socialize. You socialize to improve your communication and your social skills. A lot of y'all, you ever see people, they just talk just to talk. Be in rooms with people that you really could have learned something from them. Some of y'all done been around people. You you so worried about the wrong stuff when you communicate with them. You ain't soaked up. No game. You just trying to act like you better than what you is to like have some type of space in their presence. I see so many people do this. They work at jobs and you've been working there for two, three years. You've been around people that's making hundreds of thousands, close to, you know, a million dollars. And you ain't soaked up no game because you so busy around them talking just to make it seem like you on their level when you know you're not. A lot of people from the hood, you get around smart people and all you want to do is not feel dumb because you in your feelings. So everything they say, instead of you taking it in and soaking up as game, you processing in a way, trying to like say stuff back to validate yourself. But really, if you know, like I know, if you've read the book, 48 Laws of Power, you would never try to outshine the master. You would get involved, align yourself, socialize and communicate to build your skill, get game off of them, learn the stuff that they know to be able to improve what you know and be Come a better you, cause that's all it's about. A lot of people can't see past that. You see it every day. You round somebody and you you know, they know the people most successful and smarter than you. But you just gonna keep pretending like you ain't just to make yourself feel better. And see, the thing about life is you can't cash in on feelings. You can't pay no bills or elevate yourself based on a fucking feeling. That's why you're supposed to learn how to manage them hoes. Get them bitches in check where I feel what I feel, but I know what I know. And my intentions is to do what I said I'm gonna do. Exactly. Create your own thoughts. And then this is when we get into eating. You eat to improve your health and fuel your body. A lot of y'all don't realize the way that you think, your mood swings and shit like that, your irritability, how you get irritated quick, how you really like can't go places and socialize from a positive space. A lot of that shit to do with what y'all put in y'all bodies. All that fast food, all that food with preservatives in it, all that stuff that like wear you down when you eat a lot of heavy red meats and foods that your body struggle to digest but you don't eat a lot of foods with digestive enzymes like papaya and pineapples and avocado and stuff that helps your stomach with the digestive enzymes to be able to break shit down but you just eating steaks and potatoes a bunch of carbs and starches all the time and fucking then you wonder why your body be feeling heavy your thoughts be heavy you struggle to be motivated to get up and do things that's really going to improve your money your travel your quality of life all this shit play a role and then a lot of y'all, you don't know how to quiet your thoughts, meditate, relax, stop worrying about things outside of self and give self a purpose by actually aligning with you, getting an understanding for what's bothering me. A lot of y'all, you need therapy because when you sit down, you cannot get the monkey off your back from the past. You genuinely can't quiet your thoughts of conspiracies and, you know, what somebody that did to you and that whole victim mentality that anything somebody say to you that you disagree with is going to turn into something that makes you feel like they doing something to you. Like, these are the things that as an adult, if you realize I'm doing this and this shit is making me like, you know, not be able to maintain social relationships and be driven towards my goals, you need help. You need help. Managing your emotions, has uh, controlling your thoughts play a big part in that shit. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Most of 
the crimes that's committed nowadays most of the breakups that occur in relationships and in marriages most of the relationships on jobs um between employer and employees a lot of that shit be having to do with mismanagement of emotions this happening so much nowadays bitch get mad about something cannot manage their anger or what they're feeling argue with somebody kill them now your whole life gone relationships can't accept that people are allowed to feel how they want to feel be how they want to be and you decide whether you want to be involved with them or not get upset get you know can't process conversations can't co-parent now you broke up now you in a space where you angry at the other person you know say you feel some type of way a lot of people on jobs you come to work don't know how to compartmentalize and separate stuff from home from work get on your job you looking at your boss in ways that like you know you looking at the same you know situations in your social life and processing the same type of feelings now you don't want to work there no more or now they don't want you working for them and none of the shit makes sense for your actual money goals it's just all feelings that be temporary some of y'all, you sabotage relationships with people that's supportive of you. People that be in your corner and shit, actually helping you elevate based on these thoughts circling around in your head on immat off of immaturity, off of mismanagement of emotions. Emotions, feelings, temperaments of the body, um, different vibrations, all that shit is the same category. All of it. You can call it, spin it, Get down to the nitty gritty of how you want to separate it. All that shit is the same. I'm going to tell you why it's the same. Because emotions and feelings and temperaments and moods, all of those things change. They are not, cons they don't stay. They're not uh, uh, fixed. So because them bitches come and go based on what's going on around you, you have to have a clear, practical picture about what is actually happening in your life, in the situation. What is the state of my life right now outside of my emotions, my feelings, my temperament, my energy right now? I hope y'all genuinely understand what I'm explaining. And then you're supposed to laugh and smile to brighten your aura, to become more optimistic about life. Like to get more of an understanding that it is fun to be here. Like it, it is based on my mindset because happy is a choice. Like being positive, it's a choice. Seeing the good in things over the bad, that is a choice. Because every day good and bad is going on. What you choose to focus your attention on is based on what's going on inside your mind. Hence why I be saying people that jump right on my lives and start talking about something negative, something broke up here. As far as their perspective and their perception, because when you go out in life in the world and you look at a TV show or, you know, you get involved at a job or you jump on a video. If the first thing your mind notices, first thing your eyes and your ears tell you to focus in on is negative stuff, something going on up here, negative. You can definitely order this shirt off my website, love100, lovedorsey100.com. And then if you order $180 worth of merch off my website, $180 or more, you get added to my close friends automatically. I genuinely understand it takes too much energy to, energy to be mad and negative. I had to fix a real, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you preaching now, that's some, that's some real shit. The power of the subconscious mind. Listen, if you're my close friends, y'all know I've been dropping books all day long. And see, all I do is look up statistics on shit, read about shit that have to do with emotions, being more intelligent as far as um, the economy and culture and business. And all I do is just keep feeding myself this stuff so that I can keep expanding on what I know in my perspective, my perspective, my, uh, my pers pers uh, perspective and perception of what's going on around me. As you get smarter, you actually start to view things different that you've already been seeing. Like the way I look at certain people and certain things change as I get more and more successful, as my lifestyle changes, as I earn more money and buy back more of my time and improve my quality of living, how I look at stuff changes. This is why if you talk to somebody poor or in the hood, their viewpoint on life is completely different than somebody that's rich, wealthy, and successful and can travel and, and, and go about life how they want to, when they want to.
y'all understand what I'm explaining because I'm really dropping gems on y'all right now. In order to know the book selections I read, um, and then I do daily lives um, for just the people in my close friends. You got to be in my close friends to get to tap into that. Exactly. Lakeisha, you, you, you said exactly what I've been saying for years. We are conditioned to think a certain way. And once you figure that out, boom. And see, some people don't realize, you know, they'll know that, okay, through TV and social media and stuff like that. Um, they will know that, you know, okay, we've been conditioned to think certain things. But they don't realize over time the stuff they sat in and the shit they've been involved in, their feelings are conditioned a certain way. So certain emotions come out based on certain things that's going on around you because you've never actually processed or put yourself outside of the normal bullshit that you be involved in. Talking to the same people about the same old dumbass shit that don't matter about shit. Some of y'all be in relationships and, you know, the conversations that you have with the people just be on bullshit. And y'all take that and make that matter over like your real life. This is why I talk to so many women. All they want to know is, well, why, why you think he did this? And why the nigga did this? And love, I don't understand why he's doing this. And then when I talk to them about them, you don't got no real goals going on for yourself. This is why your, your ability to communicate, your ability to like understand, that shit blocked. Because you suck at being you right now. The worst thing you could do to yourself, and I'm going to end on this, is pretend like you're doing better than what you're doing. I'm being so serious with y'all. The worst, I don't give a fuck what somebody else did, is, did to you. It's still not worse than you doing this to yourself, which is acting like or pretending that you actually know more than what you know. That you actually all right when you're not all right. That you actually wealthy when you ain't wealthy. That you actually happy when you ain't happy. That you actually like know stuff that you don't know. This is the worst thing you could do to yourself. I don't give a fuck what nobody tell you. I don't care what you're going through. I wouldn't give a fuck. Like the worst thing that you can do to you is act like you got more going on than what you do. And this is one of the number one things that so many people that can't break through like the fucked up position they in is doing to themselves. Pretending as if something is coming that's not coming. Pretending they finna get saved from some shit that ain't come, that they not finna get saved from. Pretending they got money that they don't got, so they spending the money that they do got as if they got more money than what they got. Pretending that the people that they in situations with like them more than what they uh, actually showing them that they like. Pretending that things are just going to get better off of getting. This is the worst shit you could ever do to yourself. The lies you tell yourself is the worst lies. People that lie to themselves are the worst people. I take a bitch that lie to other people all day long than a bitch that sit there and lie to themselves. Because the person that's lying to themselves about what they know, if them bitches are self sabotage them, bitch, you know they'll go all in about you and fuck your life up. And a lot of times it'll happen just because the lies they told themselves, after a while they start believing it. It ain't, it ain't nothing worse than a motherfucker that actually believes stuff is going differently than what you can actually see. That shit will fuck your mental up just dealing with them. No, I'm listen. I'm talking about when you lie to you. Like some of y'all, if you sit in a room by yourself, you know you don't have no real money goals. All you got going on is that you work a job for somebody else, trade your time for money, and nothing big is planned right now to come your way. Some of y'all, you know that you're banking on a big homie or somebody around you coming into some real money for your money situation to actually change. You know that, but you go out every day and you tell yourself in front of people that something is about to pop off. You ever see people like they'll make posts? I'm going I'm to be a millionaire by 2022. Bitch, you work a regular job doing whatever you do, making about $12 an hour. Ain't no M's coming in 2022 if you ain't doing nothing to create that. It's not coming. You're lying to yourself. 
Y'all be in relationships. It's not going well. You don't got shit going on. The other person don't respect you. There's no real love. You keep getting told stuff that don't match with what, and then you keep telling yourself every day, things are just going to get better. No, it's not. Relationships and socializing with people and friendships, it does not get better unless you actually make a conscious decision to work on the things that are wrong to make them better. Some of y'all, you po as fuck, you run behind a nigga or a bitch, you got a bunch of different kids, and you really know that you should be actually doing a lot to catch up because you're behind with the responsibilities you got, and you keep telling yourself things just gonna be all right when your kids get older. No, it's not. They're going to struggle just like you're struggling. Things are going to keep going downhill. There'll be small wins here and there, but for the most part, they life gonna be po like your life gonna, but you keep telling yourself there's gonna be some big, great thing. If you're not applying yourself and working towards success, it ain't coming. I'm just looking at y'all like y'all looking at me. The worst thing you can do, the worst people you can be around is people that lie to themselves. When you tell yourself lies, I, 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 I ain't in my feelings. Everything you're doing Shows that you're in your feelings and you're gonna keep just saying that out loud. I ain't in my feelings. I don't got no feelings for these hoes. I don't got no feelings for blah. I don't got everything you say in the way you move be based off your mom. I, I ain't in my feelings. I don't, I don't feel no type. Worst type of shit. No, no, I already know. I got the business together. I already know. I know, I know how to do that. Yeah, no, no. Knowing that you don't. This is the worst shit. fuck what y'all feel like y'all going through this kind of shit will fuck your mental up it will make you comfortable in the bullshit you in you absolutely right you gotta pour into you positively you got to be the realest person to yourself. I really don't care if you're not like when I talk to people on one on ones or I be talking to y'all in Zooms, it be for self awareness for you to be honest with you. I don't give a fuck if y'all never go back into relationships and tell the people what I done told y'all or what we done, the conclusions we done came to on the call. As long as you real with yourself about the conclusions that we came to on the calls and in the Zooms. It don't even matter about lying to other people. What I'm talking about right now is when you lie to you. When you tell yourself shit going on that ain't going on. To get in my close friends, you got to go to lovedorsey100.com and purchase $180 or more of merch. And then you screenshot it to me on IG or uh, Facebook and I automatically add you. So somebody said, I thought if you believe it, you can do it. So I just keep doing that. So let me explain to you something, right? There is sitting there lying to yourself about what you finna do. And then there is what I was talking about on the beginning of this live, actually planning and taking steps towards it. So for example, for me to tell myself January, 2022, I am going to touch a million dollars based on my situation and the money I'm bringing in and the multiple businesses that I am already working. The fact that I'm already, you know, 500,000 up, that is realistic. But if I was sitting here working at McDonald's with no plan, no type of here's where I'm going, no money to invest, no, you know, entrepreneurship goals or business to go get in and just sit here and keep telling myself every month for the rest of the year, I'm going to touch a million dollars next year. I'm going to touch a million dollars next year. Uh, you're just an idiot repeating some shit that ain't going to happen. If you want to live
live your life based on like a miracle is going to drop on this exact date for me, do that. But I know y'all know what I mean when I'm saying lying to self, making it seem like things are just going to be successful without no real hard work, focus, dedication, making it seem like relationships are going to improve and things just going to be right and everything all right when your life reflects that it's not. Making it seem like you got more than what you got when you really like this is the worst kind of shit you can do to yourself. When they talk to y'all about verbally manifesting, that shit fucked some of y'all up. I told y'all, when you teach her and kidding, exactly, faith without work is dead. Exactly. Belief is not knowing. All this shit is the same thing I'm saying. And these are the lies that people tell themselves, which is why they life be in the state that it be in. When you be fucked up and you keep telling yourself, it's everybody else and it ain't me. living a fantasy exactly manifesting is nothing without effort but you know people nowadays they're gonna make their little vision board and go to that same job they've been going to come home and look at their vision board go back to the same little job they've been working at come home and look at and then eventually they just hope the pictures on the vision board ends up just happening in their life do this for relationship just keep praying for the lord to send you a good man ain't making no improvements in yourself still masculine still walk around with attitudes still don't know how to communicate still don't know how to manage your household and your bills for somebody who's successful to even want to mix their life you just keep oh lord i hope you send me a good man oh lord i need you not even a good man like you not even a good person based on like not being real with yourself that nothing's gonna land in your lap Somebody say, God, is me again, Q, crew. Yeah, just begging. Calling it prayer, but you're begging. All you're doing is, is, is trying to use your, your, your faith and your belief and your religion and your higher power just to beg for shit that you're fully capable of getting up and going and working towards yourself. But you know, if I get too deep in that, y'all get real offended. Man, listen, y'all make sure y'all enjoy, enjoy y'all day. Somebody say they love faking until they make it. The problem is they don't never make it. It be all that faking and you never actually make it. E even the concept of faking it till you making it, like, in order for that to like, you actually got the behind the scenes be doing some stuff to make the making it match up with the faking it. And like, if you want to, you know, act like you rich until you get rich, cool. But if you ain't doing nothing on the back end to really be making progress towards getting rich, all you're going to be doing is faking it. Ain't no making it coming. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all Friday, man. LoveDorsey100.com is the merch website. $180 or more, you get added to my close friends. Tomorrow, actually, is my money marketing entrepreneurship Zoom. It's the last day to get in. I was going to cut it off yesterday, but I keep getting um, text messages saying, you know, people wanted me to wait until today. So definitely text 678-965-0698 to get in. And then, of course, if you are, um, if you are trying to get a one-on-one, -on -one, text 678-965-0698.